Talk to any small business owner and they'll likely tell you starting, owning and growing a small business is no easy task. But one local Garniceria has navigated those challenges and is proving that hard work truly pays off. It's a family affair and Rogelio Lopez is here along with his parents Maria and Rogelio Lopez Sr. to tell us all about their market Carniceria Lopez. First off, we have to say congratulations on this year's Salud Award from the Sacramento Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Thank you very much. Yeah, that is awesome that you guys are being recognized. And Rogelio Jr., tell us a little about your family story and how you established the Carniceria that's been part of the Franklin Corridor for decades now. Well, my, my parents immigrated here in 86 and they worked the fields for uh, eight years before moving to Sacramento and uh, starting right here with the little 12 by four space right there in the back. This was another market. And then uh, from there they grew. They started in 94 and here we are 27 years later. We're a staple of the, the community here. And uh, if you grew up in the South area, you probably more than likely have gotten us. Well, that's awesome. There's a couple of our crew members here at the station who definitely are familiar with the market. And I understand your father started out as a butcher in Mexico before he came to the U.S. Can you talk a little bit more about their path to becoming a Sacramento business owner? Um, well, it, it was just pretty much hard work, determination. When they first got here, uh, they, they had to drive all the way to San Jose every morning at, at 3 in the morning and then come back here into SAC to open at 8 and then close at 8. It's just a lot of hard work, perseverance, and uh, never giving up on their dreams. And um, here they both are, and uh, we're, we're in a better spot, you know, in a better position now, and just trying to help the community. That's awesome, and you're obviously helping to carry on this family legacy. So tell us what you offer at the market. I know with summer on the way, people are going to be firing up their grills. They're going to be looking to throw some meat on the barbecue. Should we send them your way? Yes, uh, right here we have our arrachera cut. It's one of our more popular uh, meats. Uh, the marinade is a secret marinade that has been in the store for 27 years. We also we can marinate chicken. We can marinate anything. We have ceviche, shrimp ceviche, oh, wow. fish ceviche. Oh, wow. We have a super burrito. Those are amazing. We have our torta, our super torta here. We have tacos. We have our carne asada plate. Oh, yum. And our quesadilla. And we are on DoorDash and Uber Eats too as well. So you could order there through us too. Rahel, uh, you're yeah, making me hungry. You're making me very hungry <laughs> showing me these dishes so we can go there. We can get meat that we want to cook at home or you also have those fresh prepared uh, meals as well. And as we mentioned earlier, yes. this market, your market is a staple over there in South Sacramento. Talk about some of the relationships you guys have built within the community over the years. Well, we're with uh, Franklin uh, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the Franklin Boulevard Association. Um, well, any, anytime anybody needs some help, we, we can help and point them in the right direction. You know, the people that newly immigrate here, we, we, we try to help them out a lot. And, um, well, you know, we, we treat all our customers like family and all, all our employees like family. So that's helped us out a lot, you know. Yeah, I can only years. imagine that Garniceria de Lopez is kind of like a gathering spot. I'm sure you can run into some of your friends and other people in the community. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure that operating a small local business isn't without a lot of challenges. How does it feel for your family to have realized part of the American dream and then continue to stay open, especially with all the hardships that this pandemic has brought on all of us? Well, they they uh, they were really scared in March. You know, we, we were of, of the unknown if, if we should even stay open, but uh, we thought about our employees and then we thought about our customers and we just had to stay open and we had to push through the fear like my mom says that even though we're scared we have to keep keep trying and keep persevering and uh she also mentions that it's pretty cool to see uh our customers from from uh from years back come in with their kids and now their kids are grown up coming in with their kids and we just got to keep that going you know for the community that's amazing, and I saw some piñatas there in the video. Um, I'm always looking for oh, yeah. a place to get a good piñata, so I know where to go next time, next birthday for my sons. 
Um, Rogelio, oh, Maria, yeah. and Rogelio Sr., thanks so much for joining us on the show and sharing a little bit more with us about your carniceria. You can get more on that and find them on Instagram at Lopez Meats underscore.